Hello and welcome back to KD's Business Tips. Michael Lapid here talking to you about GST in this last GST video about what happens after you file the GST return. In the last video, we talked about filing of the GST return. Now, what happens after you file? Once the CR receives your return, your GST HST return, you will be sent a notice of assessment or reassessment if needed. And the CRA will then on that note assessment show you, okay, we owe you money, there's a refund, or you owe us. Now, if this reassessment matches the GST return you filed, everything's good. But if it does not match, then that is another story. And it opens up the fact that we need to look at why, and they will put a note on that assessment of why it doesn't match your numbers, what they changed. And you can file an amendment if need be. Of course, you have uh, time to appeal that. So that's not a problem. There's options around that if they messed up or if it got messed up, we can change it, we can fix it, of course. Now, Siri might be right though, and you might be wrong, so we gotta determine that. So an email notification is typically sent to you if you have Siri, my business account, and my online mail, you'll get a notification. Hey, note assessment is in your mail, go to your mail and get it, right? Now, when you receive that notice uh, of assessment, it also might be a nil return. If it's nil return, there's probably gonna be nothing to be done. If you owe money, it's gonna be added to your account if you haven't paid it already, and they're going to start calculating interest. If you filed the GSC return late, they're also gonna include a penalty for late filing as well, okay? Then they will in start issuing you notice or statements of basically of account, a statement of arrears, saying that you haven't paid. They'll start sending you letters if you haven't paid after you filed, right? Your paper returns will be processed a lot longer. They typically take about eight weeks and electronics are around four weeks. So just to give you a timeline, so if you're receiving a refund, you know, electronic filing is gonna get you the money back faster, obviously. If you have to file other returns, you know, any GST refund or rebate might be held. So if you have you know, corporate taxes that haven't been filed, for example, you're two years behind on your corporate tax filings, but you're waiting for a GST refund, they might hold it. They're allowed to hold it until you are compliant with all your accounts. Once you're compliant and filed up to date, then they would issue the GST refund. Now that's important also if you have amounts owing and you're expecting a refund, they might just take those amounts to pay the other GST amounts owing or corporate tax owing and so forth, okay? If you make, need to make changes again, like I said, we can amend the tax return, the GST return, but I will caution you that there's a good chance when you amend the GST return, if it's in your favor by a large amount, you're probably gonna get audited, okay? Very important to know. Now, if you need to increase the amount of GST charge or collected or have incorrectly reported and you adjust it, you can also do that online through your CRA My Business account, okay? So this can all be done online digitally again. Now you can also, of course, send in fax letters and all that. You still have that option, but most things are much easier to do online now. Got any questions? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being part of our KD's Business Tips, and we'll see you in the next video.